people think the law of attraction works on their conscious mind, but it actually works on their unconscious mind. Yeah. So if people sit and consciously think I'm going to attract a car or a bike or a romance or better health, that's fine. But if they have unconscious beliefs, what I call counter intentions, they can stop what they want to come into their lives. So the secret was an introduction, but it doesn't explain everything. As yeah. an introduction, it's beautiful, and thank God we made it. You know, it's, I'm grateful for it. Well, the next step is to understand how the unconscious mind works. Yeah. The conscious mind doesn't have all that much power. We think it does, and we sit <laughs> and visualize, and we we do our scripting, we do our affirming. But again, the powerhouse is the unconscious mind. That's the next step. That's where we have to go because all of our beliefs. All of our memories, all of our data, all of our negativity, all of it is in the unconscious mind. When we clean up the unconscious mind, then you can consciously ask for something, and more often than not, you'll get it, and you'll get it very fast because you won't have any interference. The、mm. interference comes from your own unconscious mind.